All right, guys, so today we're going to be installing Gentoo Linux. Um, I'm inside a putty shell inside VMware. Um, we're going to be building the operating system from the ground up. Um, by the end of the video, we should have a base system that kind of just looks like this. But from that, we can move on and start installing things like a desktop or servers or other things. Um, but for the purpose of this video, guys, is we are going to build a um, operating system. We're going to have five partitions, um, and it's kind of just going to give you a little rundown down on how to use Gentoo Linux. Um, it is different for um, some commands are different for different bits of hardware, different systems, and things like that. But um, if you follow along, guys, you should be able to get a good understanding of how to use it. Um, and it's re a really, really powerful version of Linux, probably the most powerful version of Linux. Um, but anyways, guys, the first thing we're going to do is partition our hard drives using parted. Uh, we're going to type optimal dev SDA. I'm going to remove any partitions because I was just doing a video. Right, there is no second partition. Um, MKLabel. GPT. So destroy any data on the disk, set the units to MIB. Um, first thing we're going to do is NK part primary. Um, 1 to 512. This is going to be our e, um, EFI partition, guys. Name 1 EFI. Um, NK part primary 512 to 1012. Name 2 boot. MK parts primary um, 1012 to 17.396. I saw virtual RAM guys. Name three swap. MK parts primary 17396 to 53. Five eight three five six <coughs> name for root fs. This is going to hold our root partition, guys. MK parts primary primary five eight three five six. Use the minus one command, guys, to fill up the rest of the space. Name five home, and then you want to quit that. Um, let's check. Um, so we've done that. The next things we want to do, guys, is apply the file system. So make file system VFAT capital F32 to dev SDA1. This is our EFI partition, guys. Make file system EXT2 for our, um, our boot partition. Next, we're going to make swap minus capital L label swap front slash dev SDA3 swap on front slash dev SDA3 make file system dot XFS front slash dev front slash SDA4. That's a great file system for small files, guys. Check it out. Make file MKF. S dot ext4 Francis dev sda5 so we've created all the file systems guys the next thing we are going to want to do is mount um mount dev sda4 to mnt gen2 mkdrr Mount Gen2 boot. Mount dev SDA2. You got to get these numbers right, guys. Gen2 boot. MKDIR. I just mount Gen2 boots EFI. Mount dev SDA1, which resides inside boot. Right, they're all mounted, guys. CD. Mounts Gen 2, so we're going to change the directory next. We're going to need to use links, guys, to download the stage free tarball. I'm going to pause the video while it's downloading. I'm going to show you how to get there. 
um, click the downloads and you definitely want to make sure you've got the right architecture here guys so for this video AMD 64 save and while that's downloading guys I'm just going to pause the video all right guys we're back we want to exit out the browser and we're going to use the tar command to extract the files now um, they've added some new parameters to the commands from when I used to build Gen 2, pardon, um, so I don't actually know what these mean, I need to look into it, but I'm guessing it has some sort of owner privilege list. We're going to extract that, guys, that should take a couple of minutes. And then we are going to update the time protocol, I believe. I'm not sure if we can do that just yet, actually. Um, now, so at that level, C is by far the favorite language. At the next level, the shell programming language is very popular. In fact, on some machines, people find the shell meets all of their programming needs. They are writing lots of procedures to help them manage their work. They don't even have to go to a language at the level of, of C. As it happens, though, this could take a long time on older pieces of hardware, guys, but this is where you benefit in the end, especially when we're building the kernel. Um, because once you've done it, guys, it reaps the rewards. You can get Gen 2 to boot on systems that are 10, 20 years old, and sometimes they're quicker than a Windows uh, current machine. It should be coming to the end. Complex. They were able to shoot right guys, so the next thing we're going to do is, let's see if we can do the um, time actually, NTPD, Q and G is it? I think we're done, yeah that did work, MKBR, parents, Gen 2, HC Portage, Repose.com. We want to copy Mount Gen 2, ETC Portage. Hold on. The user share portage config repost comp to mount gen to etc portage repost comp gen to dot com you want to make sure this is right guys yeah hopefully we've done that Copy D E and So I'm just looking at my notes at some of these commands, guys. Now, if we've done this right, guys. Maybe we've got no. Um. In the middle, we have some descriptions as to how we would like the cell to lay it out. Or we would like the two inputs on the left side. We carry in on the bottom. We carry out on the top. Sis. And the output on the right side. Equations have to be processed so that they can be more easily represented. Our slave. This process is very similar to the rest of the system. Sys. 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 Sys.
Uh, oh shit. Sorry guys, I get confused as hell here. You want to make sure you get this right though. Um, there are bind dev mounts gen to dev. My eyes are hurting as well. Um, Jesus Christ, guys. Dev, please work. Yes. Um. Do we want to? Sorry about that, guys. Um, Jesus. I think we're ready to chirrut, guys. Chirrut, mount, gen to bin, bash, um, source, fantasy to see profile. Oh, we can use this as well. I don't like using this, guys, but we're going to use this command. Um, I think it gives you a better. Uh, Better understanding of knowing that you're actually cherooted. Um, you'll see in a second cheroot dollar sign PS1. Dollar sign brackets PS1. Guys, I can't remember what that is. Let me just grab that command out my notes for you guys because it really is probably a good idea to have it in. Oh, that's what I did wrong. Right, guys. Why is that not working? Guys, let me just emerge sync. <sighs> really sure. Right, thanks everybody for coming and please welcome Dino Rice. <laughs> so, I know this may come as a shock to some of you, but um, I might. I, 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 um, so this is one of those points where I started, you know, I had a kind of idea, and I came up with a title, and suddenly it all started to really come into place. Because, um, you know, especially when I looked up what tragedy, what Wikipedia said the tragedy meant, which is a form of drama based on human suffering and loads of accompanying catharsis or pleasure in audiences. And I figured there was enough suffering in this whole subject to go around, and, you know, hopefully I can deliver some pleasure onto my audience. Um... Another big influence on this talk is a piece that everyone should have read by now, and if they haven't, please go read it. Uh, it's by Warren Shaw. It's more content culture. Um, the gist of that. Once this is, is extracted, guys, I'm going to pause the video and uh, I'm going to split the video into two parts, um, just so I can get some of my notes together and get ready for part two. Um, in fact. I'll emerge sync, um, I'll update the world files, and then I think we should set our profile lists and update the configuration files before we get into the kernel. That doesn't always mean that it is good. 
and it certainly doesn't mean that it is still good now.